Yeah, so I was living in the DAF refugee camp, the world, the biggest uh, refugee camp in the world, which is the DAF refugee camp. You know, I was living there from almost 18 years. So that's where I grew up and that's where I finished my high school. You know. So then I got a settlement you know, uh, for United Nations. Uh, for then that's how I came to United States and after a long process, you know, so I end up you know, coming here in Altana because I have some friends and uh, before I came here in Altana. Uh, the Somali population, you know, back then uh, to right now, for, for example, 2014, you know, this is always increasing, you know, there's a new family who are moving. Some of them, they're new to the country, some of them, they are coming from the neighbors, you know. Uh, This is where I had you know, a lot of experience. You know, when I was in Kenya, I was a teacher. You know, uh, I started helping students. You know, uh, when I was seventh grade. You know, mm -hmm. so when I started working with the school districts, and I've seen you know there's a lot of need because of the students in Africa. Uh, what happened is like they don't look how old they are. They look how they know. You know how much they know. You know, mm -hmm. so eleven years old would be kindergarten maybe in Africa. 10 years old will be in the first grade, something like that. You know? mm -hmm. uh, 20 years old, you'll see them in first grade in Africa. So in America, that is different, you know, because they look how old is a child is, you know, before, you know, they figure out how much they know, you know. So then I feel, I see, I notice that, you know, there's a lot of need, you know, there's a gap, you know, because if the student is 15 years old and he or she is started eighth grade or ninth grade, and he has no background education, and he doesn't have uh, someone else who is helping him or her at home, then uh, there will be, uh, it, is not, it is going to be tough you know, for him or her to, you know, to catch up with other students who were born and raised here. And Basically what we do is like the, uh, the education issue. You know? But the culture, because when they are new to the country, I say, this is what you need to know. This is what you, what you need to avoid, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you start a school, this is what you can maybe see, you know, because uh, uh, because the curriculum is going to be different, you know, in Africa and here. So that is where we you know the culture is coming in, you know. And I have to tell because I'm all about. see that you know the school district is working very hard you know about that you know and they're very strict about it you know uh, about those racial issues you know even the principals you know if they see uh, very tiny things in the class you know they really immediately talk to the students you know the parents and everyone you know so I think you know the school districts are doing a good job about that you know so and I'm glad you know to see all those improvements you know from uh, the school uh, buildings you know about racial issue, you know. So but right now I talk to the high school students and say how you guys post I meet with them every day, I see them, you know. If we meet at the mosque uh, mm -hmm. Saturdays and Sundays, I stop with uh, sit with them and say, How is the school? You know, how do you guys like it? How is it uh, the teachers and everything they say they saying everything's good. Yeah. So we have a lot of improvements, you know, for that also and the school districts, you know, now they they educate you know the teachers, you know, and uh, the principals and everybody, the HR and so they're doing a good job. About you know, so yeah, I've seen a lot of improvement. I know right now she's gonna graduate next year. She's a 12th grade, and she have uh, she was struggling. She have never been to school, and right now she's doing algebra. You give her the examples, and she's mm -hmm. gonna do everything by herself. I'm so proud of it, you know. Yeah. And right now, she every day she keeps telling me, Ibrahim, when I'm graduating, are you gonna come to my graduation salary? And I say, yes, I'm proud to see that, you know, you graduating, you know. So, and she's excited. Right now, uh, her mom and dad even send me emails, you know. I mean, come to me, and they say, Ibrahim, you know, thank you so much, you know, for all the help. Our girl right now, she has improved, and she's doing everything good, and you know? we are receiving good comments from the teachers. So yeah, I've seen a lot of improvements since I started on this. Yeah.